everyone and welcome to my page Legacies Little Luxuries Arts and Crafts YouTube. Today I'm going to make something for Father's Day for Dad. It's going to be his own coffee station made with 100% Dollar Trees items. So stay tuned, watch the slideshow and see what I come up with. Well you'll probably tell by the picture in the opening when you click on my channel. This is going to be very interesting and for father for dad he loves his coffee and ma too it could be for mom and dad an anniversary gift father's day gift or a mother's day gift i'm going to decorate it according to me and my taste though because this will be in my home all right let's start with the slideshow thank you very much once again for stopping into my channel and subscribe when you get a chance Love to have you around for future projects. And this will be a low glue, low temperature glue gun, okay? This is very important. You don't want to burn your fingers. I picked this up at Walmart. All right, let's start. brief pause and I'll take every area you cut and bend inward this tiny little piece. Do not apply a lot of pressure. You'll break it off and then you have to start all over again. You want to create a smooth ridge right here. All right, let's continue with the slideshow. This fits right in. This is the bottom half. Okay, let's continue. This is fun. There, another brief tip when applying the placemat inside this metal tin, you want to use craft three in one. You do not want to use hot glue. Why? First off, hot glue, when you're applying it to cold surface, will harden immediately. Secondly, when it does harden against this vinyl, it'll create bubbles in on this form. You do not want bubbles, you want it nice and smooth. So if you can invest in some craft three in one or fabric tech, it's the best. Mod Podge, I don't think it's going to work eventually in the long term because Mod Podge is not a strong glue. Mod Podge is mostly like a coating glue, like Elmer's glue is. So once again, you could try fabric tech. This bonds metal to vinyl or metal to lace or wood to trims or craft advanced three in one. Do not use E6000. It takes 12 hours to dry and E6000 can eat through vinyl. This is vinyl, these place mats. Okay, that's my suggestion. You don't have to follow it. It's just my suggestions on keeping things lasting a good long time. Let's continue with the slideshow. This is a lot of fun. Dad will love it. everyone. This step I'm just weaving in two layers of twine. Twine is a great bonding agent, binding agent to other objects. Now I will place twine on the inside of this rim as well and then the two pieces when they are connected together with glue will 
make a strong hold instead of just gluing metal to metal. The twine acts as a binding agent to two pieces. It takes a little time to weave this, but in the long run you want this to last and you want a durability to it. That's my tip. Let's continue on. This is a lot of fun. just checking in once again I am wrapping twine around the spoon right now there's weight inside this coffee station while the glue is bonding around the brim here and then I added the copper scrunchie inside I propped up the smaller electric stove cover just so that I can widen this mesh basket and it is pressed up against the brim so the glue can bond. Kind of gave me an idea here with a brief pause. I'm just decorating this spoon and twine and burlap. Going to add a little bit what's left of the placemat on the spoon. And here I am waiting 
for the coffee station to dry with weight in the inside. Let's continue on. This is looking really excellent. Oh yeah, this is to widen that basket so that it's propped up against Well, hello everybody. Thank you for following me on the slideshow. I hope you think this was a cool idea because I do and it is different and it's a little whimsical as well. And then you, when you add your own decor colors, it becomes personalized. Um, before I get started, I do want to mention about the jute twine. You can buy it at Dollar Tree, but it's really thin and it has a lot of wax on it. Um, I like to burn my twine in other projects, not this one, but in other projects. So I pick up my twine at Ace Hardware. I just came from there because I was running low. It's $1.99 for this roll. It's really cheap. And this lasts me at least, what, four projects already? And I still have some left. Also, I did the center when I connected the two baskets with wire. I did not have black zip ties and I did not want to use white because it was going to be contrasting against the black baskets. So I picked up some black zip ties from Ace and they were a dollar something. Not bad if you want to connect two black objects together. Good to have in our stash for next time. Well, without further ado, let's see how it all came together. Look at that. It looks like a big coffee cup up on the top with that arm sticking out. We have the big spoon that says time for coffee. Or no, it says coffee time. But meaning it's time for coffee. You have a lot of room on the bottom to add the creamer and sugar. Or you can place the creamer and sugar on the outside and just add napkins in there. Add napkins, add spoons. Up in the top area, add whatever you want. I use the Dollar Tree dish, or it's one of those jars with the metal lids. And I just place napkins and spoons in it. Place it up on the top. You can place the favorite coffee creamer if it's in the powder form. I don't use powder form coffee creamer, so I cannot demonstrate with it. And then plus all my sugar and the rest of my coffee stuff's up here made on this pallet wood that I created a few years back. So this is basically to hang your mugs. And it takes good size, good weight mugs. You could place these hooks anywhere you want on here. But I thought this would be a great Father's Day gift opportunity, Mother's Day, and an anniversary gift. Mom's cup. There you go. Slide it right there. I think this turned out great. It's very sturdy. It's durable. It's going to last for years to come. Like I said, this is the basic idea. You do not have to follow the color scheme. But to create the basket and the bottom, I already showed you in the slideshow. I should have this on my Lazy Susan to spin it, but forgot about that. This is so whimsical. You got a huge spoon and you got a huge coffee cup. I hope you can see the visualization of it like I see it. I thought of this for about two days straight. I do have a bunch of baskets left and I do have them in white and I thought why not a coffee station? That same concept when I created the dress form in the hidden bottom compartment. There you go. And if people like Farmhouse Rustic, even better. Please subscribe. Stick around. Let's we'll see what I come up with next. Until then, I send my blessings to you and your family from me and mine. Like I said, these hooks can go wherever you want them to go. And they come in a two-pack. So you could probably put one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven, seven hooks on here at least. I don't need seven hooks. 
three is good enough for me. Take care and here's the final photos. Share. I'm sure someone else will love this idea.